All right, guys, so first and foremost, what I like to wear on my face every day is sunscreen. I like to wear SPF 35 just so that I can protect my skin from, you know, the harsh UV rays, you know. Black people swear they're not supposed to wear sunscreen, and that concerns me, you know. <laughs> the world is a lot different than it was back in slavery time. That's what somebody said. I saw it on Twitter. They said, how you think the slaves was outside in the sun without skin cancer. And I'm just like, um, you know, just times are different. There's a lot more environmental factors that <laughs> are fucking up the planet. So I'm gonna protect my skin and, you know, make sure you get on your neck, all right? So before I even start my brows and everything, I wanna go in with my primer that I like to use, which is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It's just been working for me. That's all I can really say. I usually use either Smashbox or the Fenty Beauty Primer, but this Milk Makeup Primer, has been really good it allows my face or it allows my foundation to really stick and I just like it it's good and I feel like if you like it just keep using it so I just place that all over put it on my neck too just because you know sometimes you put your foundation on your neck and just put it everywhere I'm going to put my makeup all right I'm gonna allow for that to get sticky and let's move on to the brows so to ensure that my brows don't move I do go in with a little bit of Laura Mercy A and just kind of set my brows it's all about preference. I just know sometimes my brows can, you know, they can get smudgy and I just don't like that look. That's my personal preference. Oh, and I forgot to moisturize my, my lips. I'm just going in with some The Balm. This is the Birthday Cake one by Glossier. All right, so let's set these brows. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Benefit Precisely Brow Pencil in the shade number four. And I'm just going to begin my eyebrow process. All right, so now I'm just going to clean up my brows with some um, Maybelline Asia Wine Concealer. And I like to just bring the excess concealer down to the lid and use it as my primer for my eyeshadow. All right. And I kind of get messy with it. I really don't care. And then just blend this out. And to set everything, I just go back in with that Laura Mercier. And to set my brows, I'm going in with some more Benefit. They're little, just I think it's the brow wiz, just to keep my brows in place. And I like to brush them upwards and give them that little feathery, feathery look. Oh yeah. Okay, so eyeshadow is fairly simple. I literally go in with my favorite bronzer, which is the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. And I just buff that all over my lid. <laughs> That's what I do for eyeshadow. And I've done this look a few times on my channel, but I like this look because it looks like you're doing something serious, but you're really not. So I just literally go in and kind of like pack it on the outer half. And then start blending it. You see how pretty that is? It's so simple. I suggest everybody just take their favorite bronzer and boom, it's eyeshadow. And they got like a nice little shimmer in it as well, so it's really cute. I would usually wear liner, but I'm just not really feeling liner today. I think that the whole essence of like every day is you kind of want to keep it simple. So now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so now that my face is already primed and prepped, I'm going to go on with my Cover FX Drops in the shade. I think this is Candlelight. And this is going to give you that glowy, ooh, it's thundering and raining. 
This is gonna give me that nice glowy look underneath my foundation. So if you can get you some cover drops, I mean not some cover effects drops, if you can get you some like droplets. I know sometimes when the past I used to like just break down my highlighter and kind of mix it into my face or mix it into my foundation and that worked too. So you know you gotta do what you gotta do with what you can. Some people do like to mix it with their foundation, but I like to like let it give a really good base before I do that. And you see how golden I am right now? Sick of it. Yikes, I think I put too much on my forehead. Oh no, let's see if we can blend this out. Okay, don't be like me and don't OD. I, I definitely OD'd on the glow. So hopefully I'm just extra glow. <laughs> Y'all, I'm glowy as fuck. No, I'm literally like what I wanted to give you guys. Glowy as fuck. I think I look good. I don't know. Let me know if you think I look good. I look like Agamemnon. And if you know who that is, you are a nerd. Okay, so if you didn't know, now you're about to find out. I've been really, 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 really loving the NARS. This is their um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and I'm in the shade New Caledonia. I, it's just been giving me life, that's all I can say. So I've really been loving it for the summertime. Um, it's not necessarily mattifying, but it definitely gives me a nice finish and I like it. So we're gonna blend this out until I look normal because this right now, I look like the damn Tin Man. And I don't wanna keep looking like this. It covers it up nicely. You see, I don't look that crazy to me. I just look real glowy and bouncy underneath. That's it. Okay, so I think I'm blended pretty good and I didn't have to go in and add more foundation to give myself a even like, you know, to tone down the glowiness. So after I kind of put on everything else, I think everything will be fine. So now I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna conceal just a little bit. I'm not like a dramatic highlight person. I'm sure you guys can get that or can tell. And that's the places that I contour. I mean, I highlight just because that's what I like to do so. And I'm going in with the pointy side and then to buff everything out to make it seamless and blend it in with the foundation. I use this and that already has the foundation. And then, like I said, just take that other side and then kind of make everything seamless by blending with the side with the foundation. And I'm just going to set those highlighted areas with my Laura Mercier. And also, you want to make sure if you have this problem that you um, set your smile lines. All right, so to set my entire face, I'm going in with my Sephora collection. This is just a regular powder. All right, so instead of contouring in the summertime, I personally am a big fan of bronzer. And I've always been a big fan of bronzer, even before, you know, now it's really trendy to be into bronzer instead of contour. I've been doing this, but you know, I digress. I'm going in with two of my favorite bronzers. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Cover FX bronzer. And I'm just going to pretty much like bring, put it in the places where I would contour. And then I'm also going to go into the Fenty Beauty in Coco Mommy or Naughty Mocha Mommy. Wow, that's the other shade I'm going to go in with. And contour just get, I mean, not contour, bronzer just gives your face a nice warmth. How warm my skin is sun kissed <laughs> all right so to do my blush i like to go in with orange blush because it's just so pretty and it looks beautiful on my chocolate skin i'm going in with the black up cosmetics orange blush blush not brush and i'm just going to pack it onto the cheeks all right so to bring some moisture back into my face and to break this little cast i'm going in with my pixie glow mist just to give my face, you know, some moisture. All 
Okay, so for highlight, I do want to be glowy, but I do want it to be a subtle glow. I'm going in with this Cover FX. This is their Perfector Face Palette. They have some really pretty, 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 pretty highlighter shades. So I kind of mix all three of these. I think, yeah, that's what I do. I mix all three of those and um, just these three shades up here. And I just apply it to where I highlight. Can you see that? Ooh, I look airbrushed. And I learned this kind of, like this technique. I've been using this fluffier brush to apply my highlight so it doesn't look as streaky and as harsh. It just kind of, the, the light just bounces off my skin instead of it looking like, damn girl, you got on a lot of highlight. I found it. I'm going in with my Pixie Black Liner to align my water lid, my waterline. And I'm just take a little bit of the bronzer and kind of use it underneath here to blend everything out. And now we're gonna put some mascara on down here. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put some of my highlighter in my inner crease to really make this look pop. Alright, and this is the completed look for my everyday makeup routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram too. And yeah, I'll just see you guys in the next one. Bye.